गुड मॉर्निंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम थैंकफुल टू द ऑर्गेनाइजर फॉर गिविंग मी द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन द टॉपिक विच एज पर डॉक्टर गर्ग हैव ए वीक लिंकेज आई हैव वर्क इन फॉर लास्ट फोर डिकेट्स इन ऑयल एंड गैस ओनली एनर्जी एंड आई एडमिट बट डॉक्टर गर्ग हैज टोल्ड दैट देर इज ए प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ लिंकेज बिटवीन द एनर्जी वाटर एंड फूड डॉक्टर अमेश हैज ट्राई टू लिंक द फूड एंड एनर्जी एंड डॉक्टर गर्ग हैज गिवन समथिंग ऑन द वाटर ऑल्सो यस्टरडे डॉक्टर श्रेष्ठा हैव अगेन ट्राई टू मेक ए लिंकेज बिटवीन द फूड वाटर एंड एनर्जी ऑल्सो बींग इन द ऑयल एंड गैस बिजनेस आई हैव सीन दैट आई विल बी हाईलाइटिंग ओनली ऑन द एनर्जी एंड वाटर नॉट ऑन मच ऑन द फूड in oil and gas business again you need to develop energy you need again a water as you might be knowing in india we are producing around 7 to 8 million barrels of oil per day for producing this oil again we require the water large amount of water to produce that energy and when we produce this oil 7 to 8 million barrels per day we are producing 7 to 8 million barrels water also along with the oil it's a intrinsic property of the reservoir oil and gas reservoir or the mother earth that when we are producing oil and gas it is giving along with that water also that is not a portable water that is from the oil and gas reservoirs which are at the depth of 1000 meter 2000 meter 4000 meters and i admit that in oil and gas business again we have not bothered for the water when we are producing large amount of water in good olden days around 20 30 years back we were just disposing it in the rivers in the nearby areas in the canals after the development of this uh, environmentalist and others uh, concerned by the government and some regulations by the state government and the central governments we have started treating this produced water and making it uh, disposable not potable but there is a need as have been pointed out in last two days that the last uh, in last century or the second half of the last century have seen the developments of the oil and gas technologies and all that but this century will have the second half of this century will definitely have a much pressure on the water and availability of water as has been shown by the few presenter in the last two days that it has decreased and the availability of water for large number of people is a difficult options and uh, technology needs to be developed like desalination somebody yesterday had talked that out that desalination plant the cost is too much and uh, once these technologies are developed maybe that the availability of the water will improve but again the linkages between the energy and water and the then food it is a linkages which needs to be understood by the government by the Uh, r&d institutes like reliance and other other institutes and also by the general people we are in the habit of uh, wasting waters and uh, most of the places when you show that people are advising the general public that uh, we should not waste the water and all that uh, when we were young and uh, we were using normally tap water i know that i am from dehradun we are using only tap water for drinking up to my 20 years of age now i don't think that any even in the middle class or upper middle class or in the urban people don't take water from the tap it means the availability of potable water and the tap water has reduced with time although we are telling that we are progressing we are developing the gdp we are always correlating with the energy we are correlating that uh, energy requirement and the gdp there is a correlations and uh, developing countries needs a much amount more than unit of the energy for developing uh, one gdp and a developing country needs less than one but there is a need to develop relationship between the gdp as well as the water requirement again yesterday somebody has shown that water is for the life expectancy and the gdp is uh, energy is for the gdp growth of the country or the prosperity of the country but the time have come that when we should link the water requirement the use of water along with the gdp growth of the country and if we are not aware if we are not putting pressures on these linkages definitely with time we will be having 
the severe problem of the drinking water and all that. Again, yesterday, some have shown that around 2 billion people are not uh, having the potable water and all that. So with the growth of uh, the populations and the, with the growth of the development and progressing, the availability of water will further reduce. And as, as has been shown in last 10, 20, day, 20, 30 years. And once it is reduced, so the technologist or the scientist or the R&D center must develop the technologies uh, to make the availability of this potable water and uh, other water so that the human normal human being can consume this water in a and the availability should be a, like we are telling sustainability and the sustainability of this can only be assured once we are putting the linkages there i must thank this uh, organizer that this is the first time i have seen that uh, there is a linkages between the energy and uh, water in most of the cases people are talking energy in isolation and uh, water in isolation and uh, there is no linkages and I am happy that day before yesterday, our uh, secretary, Mr. Uh, U.P. Singh, have given a thought on this uh, uh, availability of water. And the government is thinking on these directions. And I hope that the energy availability and the water use of water must be a linkages must be developed. And in you, you know that in oil and gas industry, when we produce water, we also inject water in the reservoir. It's known as the water injection process in the oil and gas industry. Till last uh, few years, what we were doing, we were uh, using uh, tube well, we are drilling the tube well, and we are using either tube well water to put water into the reservoir, down in, into the two kilometer or three kilometer, or sometimes we are using the canal water or sometimes the river water if the availability is there. Now with the state government and this pollution, environmental pollution, uh, the environmental agencies, pollution control boards, have restricted the use of uh, tube wells that now we cannot utilize the tube well water for injecting into the reservoir. You know, when we are producing the oil and gas, we are creating a voidage in the earth. And that uh, voidage we are filling up with the water. And water, what we were doing, that we were uh, drilling few uh, tube wells and then we were producing that water. And it's not a small amount, it's a huge amount. We are injecting around uh, 10 million barrels a day into the reservoir in India itself. And if you combine the other companies like uh, uh, Can Energy and small operator, so the amount will be much more. So the huge amount of water we were producing from the potable water from the tube wells, and then we were putting it deep into the reservoir where it will not come back to the uh, stage where we can extract. So the in oil industry and in uh, energy in a particular, the importance of water has been uh, for last few one or two decades only the concern have come and i must thank the organizer of this uh, conference that they have developed now these linkages and uh, this will go in long way in uh, uh, proper understanding for the technologist of the uh, energy specialist as well as the water specialist to understand the things and the linkages and must work together so that in future the availability of water and uh, the growth, prosperity, and the energy can be clearly understood. Thank you.